It's showtime. This is gonna suck. Hey, everybody. Sorry, I had to reload this uh, because apparently um, there was a copyright thing. Um, not that it affected me or anything, but Apparently, because of the music or something that was on the very beginning of uh, this episode, um, it was not going to be allowed to be seen in some countries. So, <laughs> that's not going to work for me. So, I took that off and I reloaded it. It's the same thing. Nothing's changed. I just had to take out a little uh, clip. Uh, so, please uh, enjoy this uh, uh, This and uh, I, hope you, uh, I hope you will check these guys out. All right. Bye-bye. You're watching Spirit Box Paranormal Dundee. Welcome. And to do an investigation in my house for a spirit that we've seen in the house and that it's terrified us at times because we've seen it and it's just terrifying. Is the spirit that I see in the hallway here tonight? Well, by me. You just don't know what behind you. That is a really, really cool, cool place. I'd love to go investigate there. What an awesome location. I think that'd just be great. It's pasta. <laughs> Candle down. Another wee insight for you guys. We can't disclose the, inf the information exactly what site we're at, but we are at an old military base somewhere in Scotland. We're going in what we think could be a bunker. It used to be. Or used to be a bunker. Here. The old gun turret. Okay, so basically, we just went around in a circle. Bugger! I got super excited there. From what I can tell you, this site was used until Ow. Watch yourself, Andy. Until 1963. See, if I go this way, like, I'll beat Andy to it. Hello, Andy. Mm. Long way. Andy. Yes, I know. I've just noticed. <laughs> He's behind you. The man in the elves. Be careful, mate. Right. Oh, you fucking bastard! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> eh? How's the pheasant? Fucking hell! I come in here to do a paranormal investigation, a fucking shite pair to a fucking bird. <laughs> really? Whoa, 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 stop. Don't feel bad, mate. Same thing happened to me when I was investigating, but it was a duck. <laughs> They're both behind the light, so whose bloody shadow was that? Royal Marines base. Oh, 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 no. There's obviously something of importance behind this door. Turn left. As you can tell, Andy's going back to the toilet to review. <laughs> to, to retrieve his phone. Hey Andy, just a tip, eh? Me and my boys, we just shut our phones off. We don't leave it in a toilet eight miles away uh, so it doesn't interfere. Thank you. We'll go up there and we'll call it and ask it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
So it looks, it looks structurally, it looks safe. It's like under part of the, of the stairwell. Two awesome lessons here. First, make sure that where you are is safe. And second, here he points out the dust, so not to be confused with orbs. Right, take your time, be careful. There is a lot of dust kicking about. Right, there's no way we can walk in there. Huh? It's riddled with damp. Nice. The safety of yourself and your team are paramount. It's not worth the risk. Good choice. Right, so it looks like first level seems to be safe. Okay, for your new people, that's what I'm talking about. Daytime walkthrough first. I think it's going to be safe to say that we will be having an investigation here. I haven't seen this in a long time. An old school human spirit detector. Allowing the energies around you uh, to be able to move, answering yes or no questions. Good job. As shown here, uh, one of the other reasons I respect this group is because they make sure whether something's natural or unnatural uh, as it happens, which is really pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> See this lid of the light me at all. <laughs> Steve, you got your phone on? Yeah. Switch it off. Do you put airplane mode on? No, just switch it off completely. Could be the radiation coming off your phone, it's in that EMF. Right, you going up? It's still there. Daryl, you just walked into here there. Oh, that is nice. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. Ask him. Ask him something like what year it is. Money. Money. Okay. Six hundred. You hear that as well? Six hundred. Yeah. Six hundred and twenty. Sound like somebody saying evening. Hi, Paula. Behind you? Did you say behind me? I really like the way that the young lad reaches out to the spirits to comfort them. The board is a great tool, but if you use it, make sure you know how to open and close it properly. If you don't, you can come up with a whole world of new circumstances you don't want to deal with. Remember, it's a tool, not a toy. Your name John Kitchen. <laughs> Are you the resident? Mm -hmm. 
How old were you? Use the dumbbells and tell us how old you were. Forty nine. Were you forty nine? Did you have any children? Okay, so there's a good example of, of proper use. So make sure you open and close doors and whatever you do, do not taunt on a board because you have no idea who might be listening. This is neat. Yeah, move your phone forward. You're doing really well. You can use, use as much as our energy as you need to get it going a wee bit quicker. Thank you. Thanks guys, that's an awesome, awesome experience. I'm going to try that myself, uh, do a few tests and see how it turns out for myself. Thank you. We have three cameras set up. We had a camera set up in the McLeod room, which is formerly known in Dundee as the Bagpipers room. In the meeting room, we also had another camera set up in the, the famous well-known reading room, which was originally called the Watchmaker's room. Out of these three rooms that we've done the investigation, we have not had any paranormal activity in this room, even though people have reported that there has been an apparition of someone standing at the bottom of their bed when they're waking up and presenting themselves to them. Now because we didn't capture it that night on the camera inside this room, does not formally mean that people didn't see what they saw. We will leave the room. We will be back. We'll give you a few minutes. Now, keep an eye on the shadow of the cover as well as uh, the candlestick that you can see in the shadow and the candlestick itself. Keep a watch on that. I'll show you now. I had it away up here. Oh, too sorry. I had it away up here. So when the when the blend's on, it's it's going really fast. Um, when I first started using, it, I had it in default, which is a little bit slower. So go out there, guys. Play with that. Um, the, the best thing that I can advise is don't go in there and muck about. Everybody in here was Melbourne. If you come and speak to me, I'm ex Melbourne myself. Maybe say some sins from your time. I got two and one touched my face and one pulled on my back. Personal experiences are proof for the person receiving them and it's good to have. Thank you for the noise that you made before. Because you please make another one. Oh wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a dancing orb. Yeah. Come on, Ella, make a noise. Can you do that again for me? 
come right towards the camera like you done a minute ago. Okay, I'm not the biggest believer in orbs, but that one, yeah. I will have to say, in my opinion, that's a spiritual world. Uh, that was a really good catch. Well done. What are you working on here, Lights? What are you working on here? Okay, try and tell me your names if you can. My name is Sean. Another investigator I've got with me is Paula. Do you need help? I'm fine. Terrified. Terrified. Who's terrified? John. John but oh the battery's been drained from it for some strange reason. Oh you see. I was fully charged before we started broadcasting. It's on zero percent. That's crazy. You got the keys, yeah? Right, guys, you want to stick close to me and I'll take you down to where the bunkers are. Yeah, all's good. Okay, Chasing Bones, thank you very much for that. Appreciate that message. This is actually a better phone for going live with than the, the other one we just went live with. You alright? Yeah. We're right at the bunker now. So this is one of the... The air raid shelters. Hopefully he's just still getting alive. <sighs> Friends of the unknown, welcome to Life Feed. Thanks for coming in. And here's the other one. The other bunker. This, this is the one that was falling to bits, wasn't it? <sighs> And this part here is the escape hatch. I know. School tricks is using a bell. Good job, guys. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, for life. Uh, don't just stand there. He said you need to look alive. Look alive. We're alive. We're alive. Yeah. We're rolling. Right, yeah, so, we're hello, rolling. hello guys. Right, I'm going to give you a quick summary of the first video because we're having issues with YouTube about it. So, okay, obviously we're here at RAF jacked off. RAF the new one, sorry. So, so. Hi right, guys, that's my special over in Dunmer. Thanks for watching. Okay. And uh, catch you again soon. Cheers. Stay tuned, a good laugh at you, Steve. All right, so there you have it. Uh, it's pretty good, yeah. Uh, so, one, one, uh, well, one or two things. Uh, number one, um, it's a good thing that people who record everything that they do because if in case you, you know, forget, you know, something like, oh, your phone uh, everybody else can see uh, that you did and uh, you know give you the thumbs up for forgetting uh, your phone uh, and the other thing is 
obviously uh, this group is never going to be investigating a haunted farm uh, because uh, the chief neck and bottle washer uh, is afraid of birds. So, you know, the chickens and stuff, we can't, uh, we can't, you know, so he won't uh, be doing no farm. Uh, but otherwise, I really hope you enjoyed this. They're good folks. So go ahead. They're a lot of fun. Check them out. And uh, hey, welcome. You made the list. You are now CBAS approved.